So this is Agua Caliente Creek. It's got some nice flow. I don't think the water is really hot, but uh, it's definitely satisfying. So it looks like there was a fire down there pretty recently. Wonder when it was. Goes right up here too. Bet the trail goes right by it. Find out quick. Nah, the trail's not gonna go by where the fire went. So we stay on a different ridge. That's pretty far over. So I was using my umbrella today. It's calm and it's sunny out, but uh, the trail just got really brushy, which makes using the umbrella a pain in the ass. So, put it away, but temps are much better today, so it's really not even bad with just a hat and a bandana. So yesterday, um, when I was walking to Warren Springs, my feet felt great, felt fine. Then sitting around at Warren Springs all day, my right heel just kind of itched and I was worried I had a blister, which surprised me because I never felt anything all before and then not hiking to Warner Springs. It was just at Warner Springs. It's like, am I getting a blister? Dang, I don't know what's going on. So, this morning, when I was putting my shoes on, I saw like a little red dot, so I thought, well, yeah, maybe I got a little blister. So I put some duct tape on it, took off. So a little ways into my hike, foot was just bothering me. It's just kind of weird. -ish. So I pulled the shoe off and looked and, uh, the duct tape was fine, and but there was some of those little pokey things from grass, the seeds, pod things, in the back of my shoe. So I took those out, and uh, foot felt really pretty good. Still, it's kind of itchy, not painful, just kind of itchy. So I thought something was still going on there. So, but it felt better without the grass seeds in there. So I just had to stop for a break a little bit ago and take my shoes and socks off and the duct tape came off and I think what I what happened was is yesterday or the day before yesterday at Barrel Springs I think a mosquito stung my heel because it never really hurt it just itched and there's a little red dot so that was a relief. Now I just kind of have a little bug bite on my heel and not a blister. So, thumbs up for that. Nice view, eh? Must have been some fires out here. You can see um, conifers down below in the draws and stuff where fire might easily miss. But all on the hillsides and stuff, it's pretty much no more conifers. Though every once in a while I'll see dead stumps and stuff from one. So I imagine the fire was probably dozens of years ago. but they sure do change the landscape. So this is a turn off to Mike's place. He's got a water tank and there's usually pizza every night, so I'm gonna head there.
So I spent way too much time at Mike's place waiting for pizza. Um, but So that took longer. So I got in there, had a soda, beer, and, uh, and then they had beans, which were really good, and then had some pizza. And uh, we got out of there a little after seven, so trying to get as many miles in before it gets too dark or too late tonight so I can get to Paradise Cafe tomorrow afternoon for burgers. So that's a plan. But today went really good. Well, I had to do uh, backtrack. I had some. I lost my water hose fell off and I had to backtrack I don't know maybe three quarters of a mile round trip to find it glad I noticed when I did that was a long time ago but got some bonus miles in so but the day went really good really fun time Mike's place was fun interesting place um, yeah, not much more to say. Uh, just gonna call it a night and I'll see you up the trail. Adios. So that's Mike's place down there. Yeah, I think right there in the center of the screen.